today I would like to show you how to use Express 4.0 with handlebars and Node.js. So let's get started. Uh, uh, what you have to do is install a package called Express, which is what we are going to use to demonstrate. So the command is npm install Express. And uh, you can start with the skeleton generator and for that you can just run the command npm install express generator. So I've already done that, uh, no, no need to do it again. And I basically created an empty directory called express app, which doesn't really have anything. So first thing I'm going to show you is the version I'm using. So I'm using express version 4.12.1, which is basically the, the latest version I downloaded today. And uh, to generate uh, with handlebars, what you can do is, you can say express uh, dash dash help. And it will tell you that uh, you can install handlebars using this option dash dash HBS. So let's do that express dash dash HBS. So this would uh, basically uh, uh, create code in here which should have everything. Uh, you need to run npm install so that uh, everything uh, that is required by this express package uh, gets uh, made available. And once everything is done, uh, you can run the, the website uh, locally by basically using this command. And I'm just going to type it in here to show you how to do that. And uh, as soon as I view this, uh, I can traverse to the local host uh, 3000. And you can see my uh, website is being rendered here properly. So let's see where we are using the handlebars. Uh, basically, if you go into app.js, it automatically has changed the view engine setup, which is what I'm pointing towards. And this is where it says the view engine has to be handlebars. And because a lot of people, by you uh, know, uh, before the Express used to come with a jade, but a lot of people uh, like and prefer handlebars. So that's what I'm showing you as part of this tutorial today. So this is what is going to be automatically set up for you. You can leave that alone. If you go into your routes, you can see that uh, when there's a get to the slash, the top route for index, it basically says the title is express. And here I can add something just to kind of demonstrate. I can pass in another variable, name is Yogi. So I'm passing another variable called name. And uh, it gets used in basically the views. So here is our layout view. Uh, pretty standard HTML page, but this is where the handlebar template is being used. We are showing the body and here we are showing the title. And uh, what I can also show is uh, in the index is where the body is coming from. Welcome to the title. And uh, just to show you that I was made and changed by slash slash name. This is the variable we passed into the render view and see if it shows up. Uh, okay, it doesn't show up. What you have to do is restart this uh, website again. And once you restart it, you can see it shows up as Yogi, which is great. The title uh, is also set up for Express. And uh, see here the HTML is rendered properly. So this is a great way if you want to use handlebars with uh, Express and it's pretty standard. In the old times, you had to really go through quite a bit of processes and get to that, but now it's pretty easy. So that's pretty much uh, the end of it. If you want some more information, I would add the links to my website. Uh, you can go into uh, the website and node.js and that's where I'll put in the links to this. Thank you for watching this short screencast.